Hi. My name's Cloud. I'm the president of Red Cloud, so I need a show of hands. You ready? How many of you like to get presents? So I started my company 14 years ago out of my tiny little apartment in West Hollywood. We make promotional marketing items. We also design private label items. We're in about three primary markets. We're in the entertainment industry. We're in the Fortune 500 tech company industry. And then we also get to work with companies that have just noble and worthy causes. We try and do local as much as possible, not just for all the cost benefits and for all the community benefits, but we're also completely neurotic and controlling and we want our merchandise to be perfect. We think about things for clients day and night and when something delivers, we're still thinking about it. We're still thinking, oh, how can we build it better next time? When I was a little girl, my dad said to me, Redhead, I'm the luckiest man on earth. I love what I do, I'm good at it, and when I'm winning, I want everyone around me to be winning too. So I took that to heart, and when we're winning, everybody on the team is winning, and then everybody in our community is winning. We were looking for an opportunity to partner with somebody who could help us grow small businesses, especially in our inner cities. So we were introduced to the Initiative for Competitive Inner City and their Inner City Capital Connections program, where we were able to identify, nominate, and bring together 100 plus small businesses in the part of Los Angeles that faces issues again around unemployment and economic insecurity and bring them together to help them with education around business, finance, strategy, human resources, and to provide them with an opportunity to gain access to capital and grow their businesses. Red Cloud Promotions, I think, is a great example of a business that started very small grew themselves as best as they could and did a great job. And now hopefully as we start working with them through this ICIC process, they can basically soar. So I showed up and the very first speaker was about strategy. And it was so impactful that it changed our entire marketing plan for last year and then moving forward for first quarter. When I presented in New York to the panel, it actually did not go very well at all. Like, at all. This is not an investable business. The overwhelming criticism, or the ripping me to shredsness, <laughs> was it was more like, why would we invest? You just want a small amount of money. Maybe you should kind of hone in more on certain verticals to expand for growth. Our definition of success for a business like this would in fact be to go deeper on the environmental and the eco. We have always been eco-efficient. We've always been sensitive to the environment and reducing and reusing. So one thing that I gleaned from presenting to that panel was them pointing out, listen, this is one of your strengths. This is not what everybody does. Because of all the coaching and the criticism, and the help and the classes and all the input. I really got to see and hone in on our eco-efficiency. It could have taken us a year to get there, but they helped us get there in less than two months. We, at the end of the day, are a community hospital, a community medical center. We take that accountability, that responsibility very seriously. And at every turn, we see that as an opportunity to serve our community even better. I think there is so much opportunity for Kaiser Permanente to play a meaningful role in this, in helping communities build strong economic structures, allowing people access to jobs with living wages, and ultimately to create that virtuous cycle that ultimately will lead to good decisions and healthy behaviors. But if we don't go upstream and first tackle those very difficult problems, we'll never get downstream and talk to people about eating well. We just will never achieve the goals that we have for total health for our members and for our communities.